Hello teachers, today we are going to learn object animation. Let us see how we can do object animation. There is one type of animation, when you click the object appears. For the second animation, I have drawn a rectangle and I have drawn another rectangle. Now what I am going to do is I am going to place the smaller rectangle, the blue color one, on the red and animate the blue color rectangle. To animate, I select the rectangle, then I go to the properties toolbar and I select the object animation. Under the object animation, I find what is the type of object animation available. So I drop down the menu, then I see flip around axis. I also tell what direction it has to flip around. So I keep this as red right edge. I choose the speed to slow. I also choose when it should occur. And I keep the repeats to none. Now I've created a simple animation. Now let's see how it works in the lesson. To display in the classroom, I go to the full screen view, then so I have animated to find the number of units assuming the blue square or the blue rectangle is one unit to find out the length of the rectangle so one unit two unit three units four units five units six units seven units in the next page. Now let's see how we can create another animation. For this, I am going to choose wheel from the gallery. So I will select a cow wheel from the gallery. I also select another wheel. Then I choose the cow wheel. Go to the properties tab select the object animation then select the time animation to be spin now I want the direction of the spin to be counterclockwise and the speed to be normal slow and how many times should I repeat I want this to be repeated forever similarly I choose the wheel I go to the properties tab, I select the object animation, drop down the type of animation, say spin, choose the direction to counterclockwise, reduce my speed to slow, and keep this repeated to forever. When I get to the classroom to display this lesson, Select the wheel and the wheel rotates. Select this wheel, this wheel rotates. So here we have animated a wheel with the simple tool. I go to the next page. Here I'm coming to the classroom to quiz my students. So I put the question and I type my answer. I don't want my students to see the answer. So what do I do? I would like to hide the answer with a shape. So I like select a shape. Then I cover the answer. Fill the color. Then go to my 
property stack, go to object animation, and then I say fade out and uh, slow. And that's it. So I come to the classroom. I put the question up and I expect the students to come with the answer. To reveal the answer, I simply click on the shape. The shape fades out to reveal the answer. Hope you like this video. Please like us at facebook.com slash Thank you.